with autumn setting in, why not make this cosy, comfort food cottage pie for you and your family? Let's get into it. As with most recipes, we start by chopping uh, an onion. Um, just to let you know, the ingredients for this recipe are in the description below, is in the description below. Okay, so let's chop that onion and uh, a carrot. We'll dice a carrot. And then we'll fry them off gently in a pan and I use olive oil for health reasons. You can use any oil that you have. If you want to add butter, you can, but I just prefer something that doesn't clog my arteries quite so much. <laughs> Having said that, wait till you see the mashed potato, but anyway. So let's add 100 grams of mint. Sorry, not a kilogram of mince. It's two 500 gram packets of mince. And we'll fry them off and brown them. When that's nice and simmering, we will add, we can add a couple of OXO cubes or if you have real beef stock, use that. Um, but most of us, let's face it, especially for a midweek meal, we wouldn't be uh, having stock around, a homemade stock. And now we put in some tomato puree. And I like to put a bit of gravy browning in because especially with meat these days it depends where you get your meat from of course um, but uh, if you get it from the supermarket it's quite often full of water so it doesn't fry when you're frying it off it doesn't get that nice brown coating um, it depends sometimes if I get it from the farmer's shop it will um, uh, so I like to add a bit of gravy browning then we're going to add herbs these are from my garden you can use whatever you want dried herbs are fine now we're going to dice the potatoes and I'm going to cook these off in a separate pan. Add a bit of salt seasoning. Bring that up to the boil until they're soft. You can check when they're done by um, using a fork. They should crumble or a knife. Okay, these are done, so I'm going to drain them off now. And we're going to add 50 grams of butter into these potatoes. Talk about me not wanting to clog my arteries, but hey-ho, here we go. You don't eat this every day, let's face it. And now we add some milk. The trick to making a mashed potato is to add more liquid than you think. Um, give it a chance to absorb the potato, to absorb the liquid, and then see how stiff it gets. If it's too stiff, add more milk. People add a certain amount of milk and then they think that's it, it's done. And, and then the potato just super absorbs all the milk and you get, you know, what passes for concrete almost. It's horrible. Um, so I like to add a lot and have it very creamy and, and, and very easy to manage. Very, I don't have it smooth, but you can put this through a, a potato ricer at this point if you want it really smooth, but I like it quite rustic. I mean, it's a, a rustic cottage pie. And then for a touch of luxury, add a bit of double cream, but if you don't have it, it, will, it won't make very much difference. It just gives it an extra uh, creamy gloss. Um, and richness. If you really don't have it, honestly, please don't be put off. You can still make this recipe with just the milk and the butter. In fact, I do believe in the uh, old days, uh, water was sometimes used to mash potatoes with the butter. I mean, we just didn't have all these ingredients as, easy, as easily as we do now, but there you go. So all that remains really now, oh, I'm gonna chop up some nice fresh parsley. This was also from my garden, um, so um, I'm gonna use it. If you don't have it, don't bother. Dried parsley is fine, although in mashed potato, I do prefer uh, fresh parsley. In the actual cottage pie part, dried herbs are absolutely fine. So I'm gonna stir this in, and then we're gonna make up the cottage pie. 
So I'm just going to fish out the rosemary, the more woody herbs and the bay leaves that haven't broken down with the sauce. But they will have had time to add in part flavour and even micronutrients at this point. Um, but we don't want to chew them. <laughs> and then I've got this old pyrex dish, which I think my mum gave me, so I still keep using it. It's kind of a bit, um, you know, uh, lacking in beauty, but I, I, I like it. And also you can see the pie through the sides, which is nice. And then we just top it with the um, potato and give it a kind of rough, rustic topping and that way it will brown on the um, peaks of the potato at this point you can add cheese some people like to add cheese um, on top uh, of the pie also i haven't chosen to do that but you certainly can and then i i think cottage pie is just brilliantly served with um petit pois i just get them out the freezer heat them up a couple of times with boiled water from the kettle so that they're thawed and warmed through, but they haven't been boiled and lost their nutrients. And then I serve it. And then I make a quick gravy, which I will do in another video, but it's a super cheats gravy. It really is a cheats gravy and probably chefy people would literally pass out at how I do it. Um, but this is a midweek family meal. We're not chefs. We just wanna give our family wholesome food that is actually practical to make for busy people so i will talk about my gravy in another video but anyway here it is rustic cottage pie for you and your family hope you liked it if you do subscribe click the notification bell like and share with your friends thanks for watching bye